Hi folks, Naito Nelson here. A little quick jaunt on the ST today and I thought I'd share it with you because this is one of my preferred little paths through this area. It's nice, it's scenic, it's a fun little curve up ahead. And I thought I'd let you guys see uh, what it's about. I have included a little map here to show you where I'm traveling and if you're curious I will put a little more detail into where exactly it is. Hopefully you'll enjoy this as much as I usually do. It's better when there's less traffic and considering the time of day it's actually kind of light but it's still pretty nice. As I said, it's scenic. I always keep wondering about that little pier they have, if they're ever going to raise it a bit. I don't think they use it much. But it's a nice view. Something about wooded areas that I ride through, I really appreciate them. Depending on the time of year though, you got to worry about things jumping out. Those deer. They're cute but they can do a lot of damage. So yeah, one of my uh, viewers recently commented to me that he likes the scenic areas I ride through. He likes to try to figure out where they are. Here's a clue. And uh, appreciate them. So knowing that, I'm going to push out a few more scenic rides I guess the weather's improving it's gonna allow me to do so with more ease although I do think the weather's gonna take a turn south again very soon but it should hopefully be the last of that for the year this is that curve I was telling you I like a lot of people seem to fear this turn for some reason I love it. And it's gradual, I know. I've dealt with something much more severe. I've dealt with many things much more severe. But it's, uh, it's a nice little fun curve in this area where things are predominantly straight and flat. Things are starting to get a little more dense up here. It's that time of day when people want to rush home. more like it in the sense of open road. The guy in the pickup ahead of me is certainly taking advantage of it. And good for him. I have a feeling I'll catch up to him a little bit down the road though. I, I just love to see the woods like that. Something about nature and the way it presents itself is just soothing to me, especially on a bike. You can't beat that. 
feel a lot more in touch with it. If you're not careful, you could be a lot more in touch with it. <laughs> but it's certainly calming. I think that's part of the zen of riding, at least for me. Getting out, feeling uh, as though you're a part of what's around you as opposed to being separated by all that metal and glass. And here's one of the things that are starting to become more popular in this area, roundabouts. I think I may have mentioned them before. There's one being constructed not far from uh, where I live and I'm eagerly anticipating it. The only thing that worries me about all of them is people's lack of understanding when it comes to how they work. that right there is what makes it fun. Getting around them and enjoying the process. Some people get nervous. Practice. That's what makes the difference. And you don't necessarily need to practice in the roundabout. Practice your turns. Get out to an open space parking lot where you're going to have very little traffic, if any, and put some time into practicing your turns, your counter steering. It's worth it. It's what makes the ride enjoyable in the long run. back for the new boating season. I'm sure we'll start up soon enough. bug splat of the season. <laughs> wow, I'm not looking forward to that, but hey, it's part of the territory. Gotta expect it sooner or later. I remember a time I was still new to riding, had my helmet on, getting on the expressway for the first time. And I had a bug smack me right between the eyes and just cover the, the, the shield completely. I, I had to pull over. I couldn't see. I had never had that happen like that before, uh, mainly because of the fact I was not riding in that area. It's a little further south. Bugs are maybe a little bit bigger. And I was certainly going faster than I had gone before because I was on the expressway. But if I had chosen not to wear my helmet that day, that would have hurt. If not, cost me some vision issues. And uh, since then, I've been pretty, pretty good about wearing my helmet all the time. There is actually a buffalo that lives in there. Bison, buffalo, one or the other. It's one big animal. And it loves to wallow in that pond in the hot summer days. Maybe we'll catch it one day.
Be kind to motorists if you want them to learn to be kind to us. That's, uh, that's my philosophy. Hopefully I put a little dent into the opposite philosophy just then. Hopefully I made a difference in how these folks perceive motorcyclists. Another reason I like this route. It is a lot more fun on the YZF, but anytime I can take a curve with a bit of an angle, I'm enjoying it. So this road here takes a pretty good turn, curve to the left, and it empties out into a bad spot. They're going to be changing that over to a roundabout soon, within the next year I believe. But in the meantime, this is another curve that I do enjoy. It's an interesting one because moves you uphill as it turns over. There's no camber here, but there is a patch repair and a pothole to be aware of. I don't know if you saw it, but it's right before the apex of the turn. I don't know if they're going to bother trying to fix that anytime soon. Or just let it go until they get this all torn out. I hope they repair it because in the meantime that is actually going to cause someone some trouble as this season opens up for riding.
this is a horrendous spot. I want to make sure I'm seeing. That's going to be another roundabout for that reason in part. That one I cannot wait to have completed. The number of times I've almost been hit there is amazing. Thanks for coming along. Quick little ride, quick little topic. I hope it was fruitful for you. Hope you garnered something from it. And please, if you haven't yet, subscribe. Throw a comment in the comments section. Let me know what you think of what I'm providing here. Any questions or concerns, suggestions, criticisms. I look forward to it all. So that said, I will close out as I always do. Please be sure to ride safe, ride smart, and have fun. Bye.